Hey guys, just gonna water my plant real, real quick. Um, I don't know if you guys have been taking good care of your stuff during coronavirus, but um, I mean, hey, he's never looked better. Guys, the news today is just like so good. Like I'm just really excited to share all of it with you about AirPods in black, AirPods 3 coming soon, iPhone SE 3, redesigned iPad mini. Like it's a good day for, uh, for Apple rumors, basically, don't buy anything right now. <laughs> Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more, and uh, let's go ahead and start off. Hope everybody's buckled in for this, all right? <laughs> you know the iPad mini? You know that, uh, that product that Apple has just basically abandoned in recent years? I mean, I guess we did get a new one in 2019, but even then, what was it? A processor spec bump nothing you know it was just like the the most minor change apple could give it i would honestly love to see the ipad mini sales numbers because i can imagine that they probably just aren't as strong like with the iphone 12 pro max getting you know pretty close in size to the ipad mini i, I have a feeling that's kind of deterred sales so apple has seen this and they're planning to do some interesting stuff with the next iPad mini that's apparently coming as soon as March. So design wise, it's gonna be roughly the same. Like it's apparently not getting like the boxy iPad design. I know that's really disappointing, trust me. I wanna see that as well, but I think the boxy design is oh, even a way right now for Apple to differentiate entry level products from everything else. So expect a roughly similar like rounded chamfered edges design. However, the screen is getting bigger. It's going up from 7.9 inches where it is currently to 8.4, which is a small bump, but honestly, I still think Apple can do that and call it a mini because, you know, the next iPad up is at 10.2 inches. So it's still, I mean, almost an inch and a half, two inches smaller than the next iPad. But the good news doesn't stop there. It's also going to be getting slimmer bezels. It's essentially getting like the iPad Air 3 treatment where Apple is using a similar body and increasing the size of the display. I mean, we've seen them do this like a million times. It shouldn't be any surprise. It all sounds incredibly realistic and I hope it breathes, breathes some life back into the iPad mini line. So if you've been waiting for an iPad mini, just please don't buy one. Like the iPad mini has not seen this much of a redesign and change uh, ever. No, I'm not even gonna lie, ever. So this is gonna be the biggest update to the iPad mini in the devices line history. Um, it, I think it's gonna be worth it. Hopefully it just doesn't get any more expensive. And then going forward into April, April is where the real fun is gonna begin because iPads, they get my juices flowing moderately quick, you know? I don't need a, a supervision at that point, but I do need to be supervised whenever we start talking about AirPods and a third generation iPhone SE. All the information that we're talking about today actually comes courtesy of Mac at Takara, who is relatively accurate. They're not top tier, they're not bot tier. They're, they, they really are kind of right in the middle for who I tend to believe. And they are talking in this latest report about AirPods Pro 2. Now, previously we were hearing things like there could be multiple sizes. Uh, they might be completely redesigned, like no stem at all, circular, more similar to like Amazon's Echo Buds or uh, something from Google, like the Pixel Buds. And now we're hearing that they're actually coming really soon. Mark Gurman, I believe, initially said later in 2021, and I believe everybody else said that, but Makitakara believes they're coming as soon as April. Like, that's pretty soon. I have a feeling that they're half right on this one. Now, half right, meaning I think that they're right. I think new AirPods 100% are coming in April. I believe Min Chi Ko gave that time frame as well. I just think that's gonna be AirPods Three. Uh, I don't see Apple updating AirPods Pro 2 before we get a new third generation version of AirPods and we've heard a lot more. Like it seems like AirPods 3 are further along in the development process uh, based on all the rumors that we've heard. And I think they got this confused because AirPods 3 are gonna look very similar to AirPods Pro 2. They're gonna have a similar like larger bud, shorter stem design, uh, probably in very similar casing. In fact, Makatakara says that while the the depth of the AirPods case is gonna be identical. It's actually gonna get a little bit shorter and just ever so slightly taller, but like I think it's 0.06 millimeters or something. So it really won't even be noticeable. That's the only details they've shared about the case. But now guys, <laughs> it's something that I've been waiting. Let me look you in the eye when I say this. I have been waiting to tell you this since I have started my YouTube channel, since way before, since I was born, I have been looking to tell you or show you concrete evidence of one thing coming to AirPods. If you know me, I talk about this every day in my life. No, I don't actually. But like, it's 
it's something I've wanted to see. What is it? Multiple color options for AirPods. We thought it would never happen. In fact, all the comments I read, uh, Apple will never do it. Uh, there's always been black AirPods rumors. But honestly, with AirPods Max, I think Apple has uh, kind of canceled all the those ideas because AirPods Max don't come in white. But what did Apple do? No, they released five colors. They released colors to match the new iPad Air. Now, I don't mean to suggest that we're gonna get five different colors for AirPods Pro or even AirPods 3. No, I don't, I don't actually think that's ever gonna happen. I do, however, think that we could see black this year. Why? Because we got our first ever visual leak of black AirPods. We have never seen this before. It has always been talk, it has always been a third party, but AirPods parts like this have leaked time and time again. We saw these parts for AirPods Pro leak ahead of AirPods Pro and everybody thought they were fake. And what happened? They were dead on. Mr. White on Twitter shared this image after uh, him himself actually saying that black AirPods weren't coming. Even he seems to be shocked that we might be getting this. Now, the picture I can't verify the authenticity of, but the fact that they took a lot of care and time to blur out every single recognizable portion, including the fingerprints, uh, it seems like this might've been a bit of a risky operation to obtain black AirPods. And with the rumors spanning forever, I just don't see Apple not doing it eventually, especially now that they've set the precedent that AirPods can come in colors other than white. And those new AirPods said to be coming in April. What else is said to be coming in April? Well, according to Mac Atakara, a new iPhone S, E. What? I, I thought we weren't seeing an iPhone SE. In fact, Min Shi Ko said in early 2021, we wouldn't be seeing a new iPhone SE and Ko is high, Kuo, it's Ko, I think it's Ko, uh, is a bit higher rated than Mac Atsukara. However, uh, my pal Joe on Twitter, who writes for Mac Rumors, brought up a very interesting idea for what this third generation iPhone SE could be and the pieces are starting to come together. So Joe did some digging and found that a year ago, Minchiko had made an interesting prediction about an iPhone in 2021. He said, that was gonna release not only an iPhone with Touch ID coming back and Touch ID in the power button, but a new iPhone with an LCD screen. Now, if you know what Apple did with the iPhone 12 series this year, they put an OLED display on all four models. So whether you buy the $1,100 iPhone 12 Pro Max or the measly 700, I'm kidding, the still really expensive $700 iPhone 12 mini, you're getting the same display look. The significance here is that Apple doesn't make new iPhones with LCD screens. I mean, aside from, well, the iPhone SE. Let's think of another product where Apple put Touch ID in the power button. That hasn't happened. Oh, wait, that, that has happened. In the highest end iPad Pro? No, the kind of the mid-tier iPad Air, huh, okay. So mid-tier iPad Air gets Touch ID instead of Face ID, mid-tier iPad Air also has an LCD display. Now we know Apple came out with the 4.7 inch iPhone SE in 2020, it was a huge deal. It's still one of my favorite devices I've ever used. It's a great $400 phone. But what about people that want something a little bit bigger and a little bit more modern without breaking the bank? I think that's what this iPhone SE is. I don't think it's gonna be a replacement to the iPhone SE. I think that's gonna stay around for at least another year. I think this new mystery iPhone could be the iPhone SE Plus that has a hybrid design with touch ID in the power button, yet an LCD screen. And like Joe suggests, uh, maybe it doesn't even go edge to edge. Maybe the bezels are thicker like on an iPhone XR or even on an iPhone 11. And if it is the iPhone SE Plus, then it could be launching about a year after the original iPhone SE. Uh, I'm not saying that this is happening. Like nobody else is reporting this yet. I'm just saying these puzzle pieces uh, of Apple equating touch ID still to like lower end devices and not even putting it in the, under the display, just putting it in the power button. They did that cost effectively on the iPad Air. I could very easily see them doing that on a lower cost iPhone that's just a little bit bigger than the lowest end. Something a little bit more premium, a taste of something more premium, but a price that's still maybe 400 to $500. Let me know what you think about this down below. I think this would be an interesting device and I'll keep you updated on the iPhone SE Plus as we hear more. But if this device comes out, that's what I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a plus size version, a little bit more premium than the iPhone SE we have now. And that's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had a good time. Uh, drop a like if you did enjoy it. <laughs> Subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace out.